Today we're going to take this character sent to us by Jackson and turn it into a hand-drawn video game. When we're done, Jackson will be able to share his game with his friends and you will be able to play it on iOS, Android, and the web. Stick around to see how it all comes together and learn how you can submit your child's art to be featured in future episodes. All right, so here's the character that Jackson sent in. It looks like it's a little chicken, so we're gonna clean that up in Photoshop and we'll do a quick brainstorm session just to figure out what we're gonna build today. The first thought I had was let's have him flapping or flying through a little course. Maybe we'll create some obstacles to flap over and around. We'll give, uh, we'll give him eggs that he can drop in his nest or maybe drop and kill enemies. First thing we need to do is get a background going. So we're just gonna take a, a ground texture and a sky texture and move those from right to left. That'll give the appearance that we're moving, but in reality we'll be standing still, but it should work for our purposes. Now that we got Jackson's chicken sliced up and loaded, we can go ahead and try to animate it. So we'll just rotate the wings down. That'll give the illusion of flapping. And if we combine that with a little player controller that moves him up every time we hit a button, we should have the illusion of flying through the sky. Now we really just need to give him something to dodge, so let's get to work on sketching out some obstacles. Perfect. Now we have him flying and dodging some obstacles on the ground. Now let's draw up a couple of enemies and get those in the game. If you would like to see your child's art turned into a video game, go to sketchandplay.com and upload a picture of something that they've drawn. We're making these episodes as fast as we can, and we really need your art. So if you have a character that you would like to see come to life, upload it at sketchandplay.com, and we'll take it from there. Alright, there's our hedgehog and our bluebird. Now we just need a way to defeat them. So our main weapon is going to be eggs that we drop, so let's go ahead and get those sketched in. Now we need to create some kind of explosion effect that will show up every time the egg hits an enemy or the ground. And while we're working on that, we might as well create some kind of an explosion effect anytime our chicken dies. This is looking pretty good. We just need a way to keep score and let's keep track of how many eggs you drop. We'll limit how many you can drop and then you can refill them by landing an egg in a nest. Here we go, counting down as we drop in the right hand corner and when we hit the nest it goes back to seven, perfect. Now let's add a game over screen. We can track your score and your high score and some instructions to tell you how to play the game. Now a main menu screen, and let's throw a credits page up so that Jackson gets all the credit for his art. Alright, that about does it. If you'd like to play, you can go to www.jackson.designtothisgame.com. You can play the web version right in your browser, or you can follow the links to download for iOS and Android. While you're there, click the Submit Your Child's Art button and submit your child's art to be featured in a future episode. 
Every video will feature a new submission, and we'll be creating a new video game based on that art. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future projects. When you get a chance to play, try to beat my high score. So far, the best I've done is 37. Leave your high score in the comments below, and I'll find the highest one and pin it to the top of the comments thread. Thanks again for joining us as we turn to Jackson's chicken drawing into this fun little infinite flapping bird bombing game. We hope that we can turn your art into a video game next time, so be sure to submit your art and subscribe.